Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to evaluate this given radical problem, cube root of 77 plus 20 times square root of 13 plus cube root of 77 minus 20 times square root of 13. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's assume that this first part of this problem I am going to call A and this second part I am going to call lowercase b. No wonder this first part is our A and this second part of this problem is our b. And now we are going to find the value of A plus b. We are going to evaluate this one and here's our very first step we know our a equals to cube root of 77 plus 20 times square root of 13 now let's go ahead and undo this cube root by taking a cube on both side on the right and left as well so therefore our a cube is going to be now this cube and cube root they undo each other so we ended up with 77 plus and we know our b equals to cube root of 77 minus 20 times square root of 13. We are going to take a cube on both sides on the left hand side and the right hand side as well. So therefore our b cube is going to be equal to now this cube and cube root they undo each other so we got 77 minus now let's go ahead and add these two equations and here i have copied down these two equations now let's go ahead and add these two equations so this is going to give us a cube plus b cube equals to here these positive and negative they are gone so we ended up with 77 plus 77 is going to give us 154 and here's our next step let's go ahead and multiply a and b so i can write a times b equal to let me go ahead and write down the right hand side this cube root of 77 plus 20 times square root of 13 and then times the cube root of now in this next step we can write these radicands under the same shelter over here and we multiplied them out and now let's focus on this part inside this radical and here i have copied it down now let's recall this famous identity a plus b times a minus b therefore this could be written as 77 whole square minus square of this 20 times square root of 13 whole square and if we simplify this one we got 729 so therefore we are going to replace this whole part by this 729 so therefore we can write a times b equal to cube root of 729 and we know that 729 is same as 9 power 3 so therefore we can write cube root of 9 power 3 and now we can see that this cube and cube root they undo each other so therefore our a b value turns out to be simply 9 and here's our next step let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole cube equals to a cube plus b cube plus 3 a b times a plus b and we know our a power 3 plus b power 3 is 154 and our a times b value is 9 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so this is going to be a plus b whole power 3 equals to i'm going to replace this one by 154 plus 3 times this a b is 9 times a plus b and here in this next step 3 times 9 could be written as 27 
And now to make our job easier, let me go ahead and make this A plus B as a U and this A plus B U as well. Therefore, we can let U equals to A plus B. And now this equation could be written as U cube equals to 154 plus 27 times u. Now let's go ahead and move everything on the left hand side. And now we are going to solve this cubic equation. And now let's focus on this constant 154. And we can see the possible factors of 154 are 2 times 7 times 11. And we can see that the possible roots of this cubic equation are going to be positive or negative 2, positive or negative 7, or positive or negative 11. And we can see that positive 7 is one of the roots to this cubic equation. Now we have substituted u for 7 over here and u for 7 over here as well. And we can see whether this whole thing yields to 0. And now we can see the left hand side this is indeed equal to 0. So therefore we conclude that 7 is indeed our one of the solutions. So therefore we conclude that u equals to 7 is indeed one of our roots. And now let's go ahead and find two more solutions to this cubic equation by using this synthetic division. And here I have copied down this cubic equation. Let's go ahead and write down its coefficients. So the first coefficient is 1, then 0, negative 27, and negative 154. And one of our solutions is 7. So I'm going to write down 7 outside. Let's go ahead and bring this 1 down over here. It's going to become 1. Let's go ahead and multiply 7 times 1 is going to give us 7. Let's add these two numbers. 0 plus 7 is going to give us 7. Now let's go ahead and multiply 7 times 7 is going to give us 49. And add them up. That is going to give us 22. And now let's go ahead and multiply 7 times 22. That is going to give us 154. And if we add these numbers, that is going to give us 0. And here our remainder turns out to be 0. Now on this side, this 22 is going to be our constant. This 7 is going to be u and 1 is going to be u square. So therefore we are going to get this equation 1 u square plus 7 u plus 22 equal to 0. And this is a quadratic equation and we are going to solve this one. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and solve this quadratic equation. Now let's recall this discriminant b square minus 4ac. So let's go ahead and find the value of this discriminant b square minus 4ac where our a is 1, b is 7 and c is 22. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. b square is going to be 7 square minus 4 times a is 1, c is 22. And now we can see that our discriminant turns out to be a negative 39 which is a negative number and here's our discriminant table and we can see if our discriminant is a negative number so there are no real solutions so therefore we conclude that this quadratic equation has no real solutions so therefore we conclude that u equals to 7 is our only real solution and here's our final step. We know our only solution is u equal to 7. But we know that u was equal to a plus b. Therefore we conclude that a plus b turns out to be equal to 7. Where our a is this cube root and b is this other cube root. So thus our simplified answer to this radical problem turns out to be 7. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.